It's my birthday, mother. special package I'm going to unbox a little bit later today, probably in this very video. Anyway, what's going on everybody? Ooh, actually, I shouldn't be leaving without this. Yes, it is my birthday and I am going to be celebrating while working today. It is still a work day for me. Uh, speaking of which, obviously we are working with the Sony ZV-1. Now, I know what you're thinking. Right now you're watching a clip where I definitely don't have everything set up right. That's because I'm going to show off one of my favorite features about this camera and that is of course, what I could do a while recording. The ND filter, bam, look how good that footage looks. Uh, the moment you put on that ND filter, you can mess around with the settings, get exactly what you want, especially that f1.8 aperture, which means I still get some good uh, depth of field, some shallow depth of field, a little bit of bokeh in the background. People kept asking me, like, what do you want to eat for your birthday? What do you want? And the San Diegan in me kind of came out. I'm about to get myself a breakfast burrito. All of the audio is going to be straight off of the camera. I do have that little wind muff that comes with the camera. Uh, so let me know how the audio sounds, get into the comment sections. And also, this is just gonna be a casual vlog. Uh, this is my way of testing out the main purpose of the Sony ZV-1. And that is, of course, what it says on the box, for creators and vloggers. This camera comes with a lot of features that you can really use to get some high quality footage. And take it from me, being the person who is always like all manual settings, everything, usually because the cameras that I used famously had terrible autofocus, it's great to just open up the screen, the pop-out screen of this little camera, hit record, and a lot of the settings will just change on the fly, including the focus. I don't have to worry about whether or not I am in focus or I am exposed right. I mentioned that the San Diegan in me came out. I mean, I miss... I miss San Diego in general, I mean, with all the Mexican food and just great food in general, but there's awesome food up here in LA also. So I had to do a little bit of research, figure out where the dopest of breakfast burritos can be had and right here in Pasadena. Looking forward to this, so happy. So you gotta be really diligent about what settings you have turned on. You gotta be able to look at the viewfinder, be able to see everything. Because I didn't know that this entire morning while I was doing this quick pickup of my breakfast burritos, uh, I had the stabilization on standard, which meant that the frame was better. It was a wider frame. But once you turn on the active stabilization so that everything's not so jittery like you saw in that last clip, it does crop in a little bit. So I gotta keep that in mind. Or rather, you gotta keep that in mind when you're using this camera. One thing that the homie Nick Gray just reminded me of is that the intelligent auto on this camera should be able to handle pretty much whatever uh, scenarios I put myself in and it'll be able to recognize my face. It's in a portrait mode right now and be able to expose and do the focus. I don't have to do anything. Now, granted, I am a control freak when it comes to all of my cameras. I do like to have uh, my shutter speed to be the correct value. I want to have uh, the wide open aperture as much as possible for that shallow depth of field, uh, which means that, well, ISO might end up being a little bit hard to control. Like right now, I'm in a dark-ish area and I have ISO at 2000, which is not ideal for me. I know that the footage will probably have some noise. You can let me know in the comments what you think about this footage. Uh, but yeah, uh, for the most part though, if I'm just looking to get content done, if I'm just looking to vlog a little bit, Go Intelligent Auto on this camera. I'll test it out some more, but yeah, put it on that and just go nuts. But yeah, finally time to bite into the thing that I've been wanting this entire time. This would be a perfect time for me to showcase the product showcase feature. I have it set to one quick button here. I think I can turn it on. I think I need to stop the recording first. 
showcase is on right now. It turns off the active stabilization because after all, you should probably have the camera on the tripod, but it means that I don't have to cover my face in order for the autofocus to focus on whatever's in my hand. For example, if I just bring it up to right here, there's the burrito. You can see all of the bits and pieces in there. This is gonna be delicious. We even have some salsa <laughs> that we can throw on. This looks like some tomatillo here, so it should be really delicious. And then I just have some leftover coffee from earlier. That's so good. <laughs> Sausage. This product showcase feature is so good. I mean, I oh. This camera is definitely doing everything that it can to be the best content creator's camera. Or at the very least, if you're starting out when it comes to content creation, vlogging, or just product reviews, even mukbangs, I just realized if you're doing mukbangs, this would be a good one too. Um, I don't really have the food in frame right now, but if you just want to show off the food that you do have, the bacon one has more of a crunch, so it's a little bit more satisfying. A little bit of that sauce right there, and then it'll autofocus perfectly on me when I come back. Bam. So good. Anyway, here is a perfect example of why I do want to go in and out of the Intelligent Auto movie modes. Uh, the movie mode in Intelligent Auto will be able to do the exposure for me uh, based upon the fact that I am in the frame. There's a portrait icon right now, but in other situations where you might want to use a camera like this that has impeccable autofocus, plenty of controls, uh, you might want to go into the regular movie mode and cater those settings to what you want them to be. This is a perfect example. I have an unboxing to do, and if you take a look at this, this is obviously the the LG Velvet in a <laughs> velvet box. I'm about to film this unboxing using this camera, but it's a black or rather dark object. So when you have dark objects like this and even my table, sometimes it won't be able to expose things properly and that's when the settings will get weird and the ISO will jump all around if you have it in intelligent auto. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the regular movie mode, get this thing set up on my clamp here and let's do this unboxing. There we go. I was able to get that done. So let's go ahead and shut this off. I will continue the rest of that video once we get back from picking up dinner. So one thing to note about how I did that particular video is that I turned on the product showcase here so that the autofocus was always at the ready whenever something got closer or farther away from the lens. And I think that probably works out pretty well for an overhead rig where an unboxing takes place. Okay, so just got done with the other half of that unboxing video uh, where I talk about the LG Velvet, not only unboxing it, but also talking about my top five concerns, just the things that immediately come to mind when I'm using the phone. Uh, and for those videos, I of course am using a different recorder. So this is something that you should keep in mind. If you are going to be using this camera for vlogging, you have to think about what extra tools will be able to get you that higher level of quality aside from what this camera just provides on its own. Because let's face it, the onboard microphone might not be... Oh. Yo, birthday boy, what's up? <laughs> you called me while I was vlogging, so you're in the vlog now. Oh my goodness. What's up, everybody? <laughs> so, today is Josh's birthday. This is my brother right here from another mother. We tight. And happy birthday, bro. Like, have a really good birthday, bro. I just wanted to call you and say hi. Hope that everything is cool, man. Oh, that's super cool and, of you, man. Uh, Thank you so much for calling. Man, that was really nice. Always awesome to hear from Ricky. Uh, but yeah, the thing I was trying to say was, oh, the onboard microphones might be fairly decent considering what kind of camera you're using here, but you're not gonna rely on them for literally everything. So it is going to be um, something you want to invest in, better audio. In my case, it's a lav. It's just what I do for the kind of work that I do here on the channel, uh, for my reviews, my unboxings, all of the actual like core content aside from vlogs. But even for vlogs, you might want to uh, get like a on-camera mic, like a shotgun mic or something like that. There are small ones from like Rode and I'll link a couple of them in, des in the description. So if you're into this camera, it has that microphone jack, which is dope. No headphone jack, which you won't be able to monitor your audio, but just make sure you're on top of having it on on, having it plugged in, maybe check your uh, clips to make sure that you're not uh, recording video without any audio. Uh, and yeah, so little shotguns like this, or rather just shotguns like this, get a small one for this and I bet you it's going to increase that audio quality by a lot. Right, 
birthday day dinner. All good. That's my dad. One of the best ever. Uh, ever. Had. ever? You know what? That well, place... I mean, you can't say that because you were raised in San Diego. Yeah, I call San Diego home. The best that you can for now. So you got poke. I love this product showcase mode. It's great. Mm. <laughs> Face. I love it. I like it. Food. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Here, that way no. you don't oh, we have to put shame it me here. for it. Asian tradition, some noodles. Wow. Let's put it here. That Send you, bro. Got that long, life. long life. Long <laughs> life. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's too. Uh, I saw it. I'm gonna have they asked me what I wanted for dessert. I honestly just thought cooked chocolate croissant. Thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Go ahead. That's fine. Here, you want to show? Show the camera. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> 